brief demo of how ESP users will be created by Webtel as a GSP, how the various uh, facilities will be used by them and how Webtel as a GSP will control and manage the various ASPs. So first of all, uh, Webtel will create an ASP user like this. The right uh, green tick you can see here, it indicates that this username is available. Had this not been available, then this would have been red. So this is available, so I can save it. The user has been created successfully. And if I see in the user details, we can see this name is appearing and uh, this is uh, other things need to be done. now. When I provide this username and password to the GSP, then he will have to log in like this. And here he will request the client ID. The name, address, etc. Various things need to be given. like this and we can save this the request will be saved and then we can request the GSP service like this and you want to send the request for GSP service I will say yes okay and request saved successfully now in the GSP let us see ASP request this is appearing as you can see now we can send the credentials to the ASP the client ID and the client secret like this and we can send it record has been updated and in the user details also we can see the now it is an active user and here uh, it we can uh, activate the user and the deactivate the user like uh, another user is there i can deactivate it from here yes deactivate it has been deactivated as you can see then also you can make changes here like this you can edit the data like this and what other facilities are there we can change the username and password from here and then also we can view the various details from here the client ID and the client secret so these facilities are available here and then at home the total request received from the ASP, the request size in, and the response data size and the unique GSTN will be, this summary information will be available here. We can give a, a date from to in which for uh, the period we want the data and we will get the data here on the dashboard. And this can even be downloaded in Excel format from here. So this is how the various services can be used and uh, in the ASP we can see the client ID and client secret is there and uh, at home again here also the total request the data size etc and this facility is available uh, how much data is being used by him so these facilities uh, so this is how uh, we can manage the various ASPs and how we can create the ASPs so that was a brief demo about that thank you